Hey guys, it's Billy. You know, in the years since we played the critically acclaimed game, would you have sex with Paul Rudd? Television and the country at large have gotten far more progressive and forward thinking about such issues. So, in an attempt to stay current and stay ahead of some inevitable pseudo highbrow HBO series about living as a threesome, I'm about to hit the street with Emmy Award winner Jonathan Hamm to play a new game I like to call Would You Have a Threesome with Me and John Hamm? Are you ready, John? I am. Let's go. Miss, for a dollar, would you consider a threesome with me and John Hamm? <laughs> Hello, hi, yes, sir. Uh, a threesome with me and John Hamm. Would you have one? For a dollar? Yes. Very progressive. I'm gay, you're black, you're plus size, he's John Hamm, he has a SAG award. It's all happening. All of this is in play. He doesn't have an Oscar, though. That's right, good point! <laughs> Miss, for a dollar, would you have a threesome with me and John Hamm? Uh, if I didn't have to tell my husband. Your husband would be fine we'll with you know. having no sex one with watches John this Hamm. Show. If he were yes. allowed to watch, then maybe. Oh, okay, this is good. We're making progress. Can we get him on the phone? Yes. Yeah. Let's call him. For sure, hold on a second. Okay. What does your husband do? Um, he is an engineer that designs sprinkler systems in- No, oh, no, pass, no, pass, boring. Pass, pass. Hard pass. Miss, miss, for a dollar, would you have a threesome with me and John Hamm? I could pretend to. What do you, no, 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 no. no it's real. What do you mean pretend? There's no wrong answer. Like pretend? That. What is this, like a, a despicable me? <gasps> oh. I can't do it, I just can't. Hey. Because my husband and I have children. I no, children. I would want you to have a threesome with the star of Mad Men. <laughs> I know he doesn't have great buzz at the moment, but he's still a handsome fella. I used to. Imagine that it was 2009. Yes, uh, okay, a threesome with, with 2016 Billy Eichner, but 2009 John Hamm, yes? Okay. Yes, uh, yes, there you go, yes, yes, yes! Sir, for a dollar, would you have a threesome with me and John Hamm? I would totally do Yes, that. thank you, yes, yes, there you go. Is that, is that all I have? To... Yeah, we're just gonna f each other left and right all night long. All right, I'm on top though. I'm on what? top. You, you're... No, you're not whoa, whoa, on top. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys are at the bottom. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. We should figure this out first before we go in. Yes, yeah, so we know you're a bottom. Hold on a minute. I I've spoken to January Jones. You're not a top. I literally just did a monologue for Mad Men as Pete Campbell. He's a power. Sure, that was great. <laughs> Miss for a dollar. Would you have a threesome with me and John Hamm? No. Why? I don't know who they are. John Hamm is right here. And Mad right Men. There. I'm Billy on Billy, the street. Billy, John. Why don't we introduce Hamm. ourselves? What's your name? I'm Liz. Don't touch her. She doesn't deserve to touch you. <laughs> he has an Emmy Award. Took him seven times, but still he won. Congratulations. Thank you. Look, so, at, look, look at him. Are we moving into yes? No, I'm Why? sorry. Why? You a lesbian? No, I'm not interested. Please. I'm sorry. Consider. That's OK. Come on. I'm sorry. Come on. I, they wrote about me in The New Yorker. Not too shabby. Sir, for a dollar, would you have a threesome with me and John Hamm? Sure, why not? Yes, yes, thank you. Very exciting. Well, you can keep the dollar. No, 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 no. That's, that was no. the right answer. OK. Do you mind if, if during sex he tries out a couple of comedy characters? Sounds like a great time. He loves to improvise. No one, no one's happy about it, you know? I don't like secrets. OK, thank I don't you. Like we'll secrets. see you soon. Miss, for a dollar. Hold on. Hold on. Would you have a threesome with me and John Hamm? Uh, yes. Yes! Yes, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The details oh, my husband's on the phone. Who cares? Your wife is about to f Don Draper. Miss, for a dollar, would you have a threesome with me and John Hamm? Of course not. Oh, okay. John Hamm, yeah. Yes, what about me? I don't know you. Oh, excuse me. No, no, no. Hey guys, I'm Billy Eichner and this is Billy on the Street. And now it's time to play my favorite game for a dollar. Here we go. Miss, 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 for a dollar. Do you think Beyonce has ever said the words unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt out loud? Unbreakable could be Schmidt out loud? Oh my God. Sir, for a dollar, name a skin color. Mm -hmm. Name a skin color. Skin color? Yes. Me? D what's the color? Yellow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. No. No. Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Miss, the Coen brothers are up to their old tricks. Really? You like the Coen brothers? Yes, I do. Yeah, they're talented. Yes. What is this all about? This is Billy on the street. Oh, Billy on the street. Yes. Oh, and you're Billy. Yes, I'm very acclaimed. Hi, I'm Cricket. No, what? Cricket. No, 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 no. Miss, how closely have you been tracking my style evolution? I haven't. Why? I don't know who you are. I'm Billy on the street. Hi. <laughs> Unbelievable. I apologize. I was in like GQ once. Really? Yeah. Okay. I don't read that often enough, but okay. Okay. What do you read? 
I don't even know anymore. I'm kind of done with magazines. But really? Maybe like oh. beauty magazines. She's done with magazines. Oh, hold on. Can we get the medal? Can we get the medal? She's done with magazines. She's done with magazines. Oh, oh, give give her this woman a medal. That's right. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Yes, miss. It's a year-round pilot season at Amazon. Oh, how nice. Yes. Sir, do you want to go the full Monty? Full Monty? Yeah. Well, I don't know. What, what are you talking about? Is it a card game? No, it means we get naked. Naked? What's oh. wrong with you? Oh, OK, sorry. Sir, is New Girl having a quiet renaissance? I don't think so. OK. Miss, for a dollar, Vince Gilligan, J.J. Abrams, Shonda Rhimes, are you excited to be living in a time when TV creators themselves are known personalities? I didn't get the question. Sorry, I'm like in the middle of my. I'm talking about Vince Gilligan. I don't know who. He created Breaking Bad. Oh, OK. I, didn't, I know about this TV show, but I didn't watch it. What shows do you watch? I literally, I'm working like 14 hours a day. I, that leaves 10 hours. By the time I get home, like I'm super tired. Like. Hey, okay, but it doesn't take much. You sit on your couch, fire up the DVR. Sure, I watched the American Horror Story. Okay, that's good. Well, that's a start. Okay, so what was the question about? Like, I was asking about Shonda Rhimes. Ryan Murphy too, though, a great example. Okay, but what was the question? I didn't get. Are you excited to be living in a time when TV creators themselves are known personalities? I really don't care. But. I'm sorry, like you, well, like I. You're standing here, I'm asking you about J.J. Abrams and you're shrugging it off. I mean, sorry, you're giving me attitude like this. I don't well, want Because I've asked you about Vince Gilligan. Okay, sorry, I don't want to talk to you. you why don't you, why, why can't you talk? Because I don't want to talk with a person who gave me such an attitude. I'm giving you attitude because I mentioned Vince Gilligan, that's why. I don't know who's Vince Gilligan. He created Breaking Bad! Oh my God. Hey guys, it's Billy, and I'm here in front of the Flatiron Building, which Zac Efron called one of the flattest buildings ever, hands down. What is your name, sir? Kevin. Kevin, what do you do? Uh, office manager. And what do you do for fun? Do you live in New York? I do, yeah. Okay, what do you do for fun here? Uh, ride a bike, go to the beach. Okay. Uh, read comic books. Comic books? Yeah. Those are very popular. Yes, okay, yeah. Which is your favorite comic book? Oh, uh, A-Force. Yeah. A-Force? Yeah. I've never heard of that one. What's that one? It's an all, all female led uh, comic book from Marvel. I'm not ready for it! Okay, and what other things do you do for fun? Uh, I travel, hang out with friends. Where have you gone lately? Uh, I just got back from Boston. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Why? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what, why? Uh, just traffic is terrible. Uh, what were you doing in Boston? Uh, I was at a Comic Con. You went to Boston Comic Con. Yes. Now that must be quite a crowd. Yeah, and, and why did you go to the Boston Comic Con? Isn't there one in New York? There, there is, there is. I, I was working a table there. So. You were working at Comic Con? Yeah, yeah. Oh, did you get paid for that? No. I've never been to a Comic Con. I've been offered and I've passed, because I have a life, you know? Um, are you single or? Uh, dating. You're dating, all right. Yeah. Straight, gay? Bye. So, who was your dream man? If you could sleep with any man, who would it be? Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, Bradley Cooper. I don't know. Bradley Cooper. Sure. All right. And uh, what about your, who's your dream woman? Oh, Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton. You're, that's the gayest thing you could have possibly said. A dream woman is a woman who mainly does characters where she looks kind of like a man. Yes. Okay, great. What's your name again? Kevin. Okay, Kevin. All right, Kevin. Oh, what about Kevin Can Wait? That new Kevin James sitcom on CBS. You're looking forward to that? No. You didn't watch The King of Queens? <laughs> I did not. Okay, it was a very funny show. I'm sure it was. About Everybody Loves Raymond. Do you have nostalgia for that era on CBS? No, no era on CBS. You never watch CBS? Uh, at times. Nothing? Really, no. Watch that James Corden show? Uh, the, the Late Late Show with James Corden? I've No. NCIS, James Corden edition. Jesus Christ, bisexuals, I tell you. Here we go, we're gonna play a game, are you ready? Sure. Okay, here's a game, a game that I like to call immigrant or real American. Here's how it's gonna work. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna read you a name of a famous person. You have to tell me if this person was born in America, in which case they're a real American, or if they weren't, they're an immigrant. Immigrant or real American. Are you ready, Kevin? Yes. All right, if you get enough right, you win a big prize. By the way, look at what's on your shirt here. I'm just noticing this. It's like a big, muscular cyclops with a unicorn wearing like a leopard print garter belt. Centaur. It's what? A, it's a unicentarclops. <laughs> <laughs> F 
f***ing hate this show. I tell you, I swear to God. A unicentaur cloth. Did you design this? No. Okay. I got it at a thrift store. Oh, okay. Does this turn you on in any way? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Here we go. Immigrant or real American? You're single now, right? I'm dating. Oh, you're dating. Yes. Going on dates or one person? One person. A guy? Yes. Okay. What's his name? Alex. Okay. What does he do? Uh, he's a consultant. Okay. <laughs> yes. And he knows that you're bisexual. Yes, he and does. he kind of like likes that, I guess. <laughs> He's fine with it. He loves me. What? He loves me. Oh, has he said I love you? Yes. <sighs> well, <laughs> who wouldn't? Okay, here we go, Kevin. Immigrant or real American? If you get enough right, you have a prize to take home to Alex. Here we go. Immigrant or real American? And away we go. Mila Kunis. Immigrant. Yes, correct. Jeffrey Dahmer. Real American. Uh, yes, correct. Piers Brosnan. Uh, immigrant. Yes, correct. Charles Manson. A real American. Yes, correct. Salma Hayek. Immigrant. Yes, correct. Gloria Estefan. Immigrant. Yes, correct. Ted Bundy. Real American. Yes, correct. Charlize Theron. Uh, immigrant. Yes, correct. Antonio Banderas. Immigrant. Yes, correct. The Unabomber. Real American. Yes, correct. Craig Ferguson. <laughs> He's an immigrant. Yes, he is. Lee Harvey Oswald. Real American. Yes, correct. The Boston Strangler. Oh, God, real American. Yes, correct. Cesar Milan, the dog whisperer. He's an immigrant. Yes, he is. Timothy McVeigh. Real American. Yes, he is. Na Natalie Portman. She's an immigrant. Yes, she is. Jackie Chan. An immigrant. Yes, correct. Casey Anthony. She's a real American. Yes, she is. Carlos Santana. <laughs> He's an immigrant. Yes, correct. Albert Einstein. He is an immigrant. Yes, he was. O.J. Simpson. A uh, real American. Yes, correct. Did he win? Yes, you win. You win. Bisexual, you win. Let's see what you win. Oh, bisexual. Look at this. Look, if you like a cuckoo clock, you'll love a Cuoco clock. It's an alarm clock that wakes you up and tells you what Kelly Cuoco said when they asked her if she's a feminist. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Here we go. Is it bad if I say no? Yes, there you go, Alex. Kevin. Oh, Kevin, yes, Alex is your boyfriend. But I'll give it to Alex. Of course you will. <laughs> Who won't you give it to, Kevin? <laughs> Anyone? Okay, and, you, and look at, I hope you enjoy your Cuoco clock. I will. Yes, do you know Kelly Cuoco? Yes, from the Big Bang Theory. What about Jim Parsons? He's gay. No, he doesn't do it for me. I think he's charming. Oh, yeah, he's very charming. Yeah. Not attracted to him. Okay, what's your type? Uh, kind of, well, I mean, similar to you. I knew it! No! No! Get away! Get away! We'll be right back! Let's go! Let's go! Hey guys, it's Billy, and this season we've rebooted one of your favorite segments to make it faster than ever before. This is Quizzed in the Face Express. Let's go! <laughs> Sir, do you want to get Quizzed in the Face? You can win $100 right now. For what? Uh, what's your name? Chris. Chris, and where are you off to today? Work. Okay, can you take your sunglasses off? Okay, where are you from, Chris? New Jersey. Okay, great. Here's how the game works. I'm gonna ask you one subjective question, Chris. If you don't know the answer, there are three ways to ask for help, okay? You can ask someone who thinks Winona Ryder is back for good. You can ask someone who thinks Al Fanning is on the road to Oscar. Or you can ask someone who thinks Melissa McCarthy could stand to be choosier. Are you ready, Chris? Go ahead. Okay, here's the question, Chris. For $100, quizzed in the face, express. What is Kiefer Sutherland's idea of good art? A, plates with designs painted on them because Kiefer believes art should be functional as well as beautiful. B, a video of birds fighting each other. C, a still life of a dusty wireless router. Or D, GoPro videos of people riding roller coasters. What is Kiefer Sutherland's idea of good art? A, plates with designs painted on them. What? B. B, a video of birds fighting each other. Yeah, why not? Do you want to ask someone for help? Let's ask about M Melissa McCarthy being choosier. Okay, let's go. We need someone who thinks Melissa McCarthy could stand to be choosier. Le what was that? I gotta walk with you. Yes, you do. Not walk. We're gonna run, bitch. Let's go, sir. Sir, do you think Melissa McCarthy could stand to be choosier? Yeah. Okay, great. You have to help him answer a question. Yeah. Okay, this is for a hundred dollars. Okay. Here we go. Ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Here's the question. What is Kiefer Sutherland's idea of good art? A, plates with designs painted on them because Kiefer believes art should be functional as well as beautiful. B, a video of birds fighting each other. C, a still life of a dusty wireless router. Or D, GoPro videos of people riding roller coasters. Birds fighting against each other? Birds fighting against each other. That's what you said. Yes, it was. That's what you said. That's what he said. What was that? Yeah. Are you going to stick with your answer? I'll stick with it. You're going to stick with it? Okay, he's going to listen to you. Okay. Okay, here we go. The answer is... 
Oh, you're both wrong. It's D GoPro videos of people riding roller coasters. We have all my dollars. Yes, you lost a hundred dollars. Doesn't matter. Next time. Yes, it does matter. What doesn't matter to you is his money. Oh well. <laughs> you lost it. I lost. Hey, what do you do for work? Uh, building manager. Okay, what do you do? Oh, I'm a tourist, yeah. Oh, you're a tourist? Where are you from? I'm from India. Oh, wow. There you go. This is fun. This is like the Anthony Bourdain show, except we don't have to go anywhere, thank God. Okay. Right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, let me explain why Kiefer Sutherland likes videos of roller coasters. Kiefer Sutherland likes watching videos of people on roller coasters because it's both dangerous and boring, and he relates to that, you know? Kiefer Sutherland likes to watch people just on the roller coaster over and over again because he likes to watch people getting excited without having to get excited himself because Kiefer Sutherland's kind of the type of guy who thinks that people who really get too excited are, you know, just kind of like embarrassing and beneath him. Do you know what I mean? Okay, got it. You know what I mean? That's pretty funny. Okay, yeah. R and I blast? Oh yeah. Okay, great. All right. Well, what, what was that? Well, Keith or Sullivan's our William Shatner of today. No, he's not. Keith or Sutherland's like a very respected actor. Yeah, I know. Okay. Just wait. What are you bringing up William Shatner for? Just the way he overacts. Keith or Sutherland doesn't overact. He's like in 24. He kind of like underplays everything. It's kind of like intense and very stoic. Mm -hmm. Get the f out of here. I'd rather spend the day with you. I have to catch my train. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, got to yeah. go a long way to the Long Island. And how long are you in New York? Oh, uh, maybe for a week. A week? What else are you going to do here? Walk around. That's it. That's it? Like... Any Broadway shows? Oh, no, no. Thank Nothing. you. Nothing? No. Thank oh, you. I'll go with you. I'll go, I'll go with you. Oh. To a Broadway show? No, no. Thank you. you. see Hamilton? No, no. No. Th no. no one, he doesn't even want to see Hamilton. I want to see Hamilton. I bet everyone does. Let's go. <laughs> Deep down, there's a person here I'll never let you see. It's time for the lightning round. Let's go. Miss for a dollar, name and network. Um, Bravo. Okay, there you go. Thank you. What's your favorite show on TV? Um, Love and Hip Hop. Can I have this, please? Give me, no, 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 not Love and Hip Hop. Not Love and Hip Hop. You have terrible taste. You have terrible taste. Practical Jokers? No! Miss for a dollar, name a person. Any person? A famous person. A famous person? Leonardo DiCaprio. What? Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, she wins, you lose. Oh, you're f***ed up. What? No, you're f***ed up. Miss Winona Ryder's back. I'm sorry, what now? Winona Ryder's back. Who would care? What? Miss for a dollar. Oh, what the hell? Please name a celebrity that's redefining Hollywood's beauty standards. Kim Kardashian. Yes! Miss for a dollar, name a cartoon. Mickey Mouse. Yes! Miss, name an app. Uh, ah, genius No. What? <laughs> Miss. For a dollar, Gina Davis is back. Ooh. Oh. She's not happy about that. Gina Davis. Oh! Oh, she's back! Miss, are you a cord cutter? No! Oh! Matt LeBlanc. Oh my god. Matt LeBlanc. Miss, being bad never looks so good. I'm in a crisis right now, I can't. Oh, I'm in a crisis too. Getting too famous too fast. Miss, miss here. Open it, open it. What? Open it. <laughs> open it, open it. <laughs> open it, open it, open it. Let's see. Read, read the whole thing. Uh, read, read the whole thing. The winner is Kate Winslet. Yes! Yes! Homophobic, racist, transphobic, and anti-woman. Our guest today has also won eight Emmy Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, four uh, Writers Guild Awards, five Screen Actors Guild Awards, and is a Grammy nominee who topped the New York Times bestseller list five weeks in a row. I am so thrilled and truly honored to have her here. She's one of my favorites, a woman whose success has opened the door for so many other women in Hollywood, but mostly Jane Krakowski. Please welcome the one and only Tina Fey. How are you? Hi, I'm good, Billy. How are you? I am so excited you're here. I'm excited to be here. Um, God, there's so much to say. You've done so much. Of course, you have your hit show, The Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt on Netflix. Yes, on Netflix. Yes, yes. Now, I, now. What was that? Available at all times. It's ironic because I haven't seen it yet, but I hear there's a gay black person in it, so good for you. Okay, let's see. Uh, what else did I want to ask you? Now, you've done so much. Most people probably know you from your starring role in last year's Muppets Most Wanted. So what is the difference between working with Fozzie Bear and Lorne Michaels? <laughs> it takes five people to operate Fozzie. And it takes three people to operate Lorne. That is a very good answer. If you see his legs, it takes five people. And let's see, you're on Netflix, yes. Amy producing for Hulu. Would you agree with me this is a great time for rich women on the internet? This is a great time for white women to make tiny shows. Do you think the success of uh, women like Lena Dunham and Amy Schumer has helped open the door for people like you and Amy? <laughs> yeah, it's opened the back door for us to get the f 
out. Right, good. Well, you know what? Your time has come. Okay, Tina, now it's time to play a game. It's a very important game that we made just for you. It's a game I like to call Man or Woman. Here's how it's gonna work, Tina. I'm gonna list some accomplishments, uh, some inventions, things that people have created over the years. You have to tell me if this was accomplished by a man or a woman. If you think it was a man, you say man. If you think it was a woman, say woman. If you get enough right, you win a big prize. Okay, great. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Here we go, everyone. Man or woman with Tina Fey. And oh, wait, we. Go, invented the light bulb. Man. Yes, correct, first person on the moon. Man. Yes, correct, for per first person to navigate the earth. Man. Uh, yes, correct, played drums for the Beatles. Man. Yes, man. a man, Tina, painted the Sistine Chapel. A man. Yes, correct, placed the final stake in the Transcontinental Railway. A Chinese man? Uh, um, a man is the point, uh, directed Citizen Kane. Man. Yes, men rule, host the Late Show with James Corden. Man. Yes, founded Sarah Lawrence College. A man, I bet. Yes, correct, killed Osama bin Laden. We don't know. Excuse me. A man. Yes, correct. Uh, uh, created the show Desperate Housewives. A man. Yes, correct. Did you win, man or woman? Yes, she won, man or woman. Congratulations, Tina Fey. Let's see your prize. Oh, it's it's marionettes of the cast of Transparent. That's amazing. Yes, we made this. Was someone else? Oh, look at Judith Light. Yes, yes. Finally, a puppet version of Judith Light and Gabby Hoffman. That there is, it is beautiful. Yeah, now, if you hold this for a second, yep. hold my mic. Yep. There you go. There's the marionettes of the cast of Transparent. Tina Fey, thank you for playing Man or Woman and being Billy on the Street. Thank you for having me. Not being Billy on the Street, being on Billy on the Street. Thank you. There's only one me. Billy on the street, street, street. Miss, 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 miss. Did you hear that Reese Witherspoon celebrated her 40th birthday in style? <laughs> Excuse me. Miss, miss, please turn around. Reese Witherspoon celebrated her 40th birthday in style. She had a... Had a great time. Nothing to do with me. I understand, but she celebrated her 40th birthday and she had a wonderful time. She had a great night. He's making